This is Alan Bush with the Daily Financial Forecast for Thursday, May 30th. Stock index features coming under some pressure due to recent hawkish comments from several Federal Reserve officials. However, there has been some recovery in light of the GDP report this morning showing an increase of just 1.3% when up 1.5% was expected. In addition, personal consumption expenditures on an annualized basis up 2% when up 2.2% was anticipated. So despite lower prices over the past few days, it still looks like the longer term fundamentals and technicals remain supportive to stock index features. Moving over to the currencies, the US dollar index was lower in the overnight trade, tracking declines in US treasury yields. However, there has been some additional pressure developing on the greenback with the weaker than estimated gross domestic product report. Also, we had the economic sentiment indicator in the Eurozone increasing in May uh, to the highest level in four months. Uh, that somewhat supportive to the Euro currency. And in the interest rate futures markets, yesterday's release of the Fed's Beige Book showed most regions experienced slight or modest growth. Recent pressure on futures linked to weak demand for the two, five, and seven year note auctions in hawkish comments from Federal Reserve officials. However, futures seeing some recovery today with the GDP report coming in uh, on the weaker side. Financial futures markets now predicting there is a 51% probability that the Federal Open Market Committee will cut rates at the September 18th meeting. Just a, a couple of days ago, the probability was out to November for a rate cut. So it looks like the Fed may be a bit more in, in encouraged to come to some uh, accommodative stance a bit sooner. Still thinking longer term, the 30-year Treasury bonds have the best fundamentals and technicals. So any weakness at the 30-year Treasury bond uh, uh, level uh, should be viewed as a buying opportunity uh, in this market. So good trading, everyone. Once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or ADM.